All right, folks, 11-year-old Gianna Hilton has written her first book entitled Learn to Use Your Wings, and she's joined by her mom, Megan Angus Hilton, who is also an author. Them both, you see? Look how many two of them. If you tell me which one is the mother, I want to get that money right now. You, right? <laughs> no. Not you? <laughs> Morning to you both. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Happy New Year to you and your family, and I hope all is well this year. Moms, I'm going to start with you. Who wrote the, the book first? You are... Well, your book says directing your arrows and learn to use your wings. Which one came first? Good morning, Neville. The first one was directing your arrows. It was actually published in February of 2020, yeah. just before the pandemic. Hit. Why you wanted to write a book like that? I and was... Before you answer that, you wrote the book after you said being repeatedly confronted with emotionally wounded children. Explain that. Okay, so as an associate counseling psychologist, I work with persons individually, and at the time I was a practicing guidance counselor, so I had to interact with the students regularly, and they would come to me with their issues, many, many of them wounded, many of the wounds were connected to home, and so I recognized that parents needed help. One incident in particular, where a mother came in and her daughter did something. She was so angry, she just ran into the class and grabbed her out, and I had to intervene. And she fell on my office floor, and her words were, Miss, help me, I don't know what else to do. I need help. Wow. And I think that was the moment I recognized that I had something, I had to offer something yeah. to parents. Yeah. And Jana, why did you write the book? And where did you get that? The name of the book, Learn to Use Your Wings, The Power to Soar Lives, Lives Within You. Where, where do you get that from? Good morning, Neville. Good morning. So I got the title of the book from my mother's dream, actually. From your mom's dream? Yes. She woke up this morning telling us this dream, and those words were in her dream. I said, Mommy, that's a book. <laughs> and then she just, she didn't really pay it any mind because she had work to do. So I was, I think the following day I was on my tablet writing it on Word document. Or but Google Docs. Why you feel that you could write a book? Why why you think that where you get this expertise from and how you know how to write the book and that kind of thing? Who teach you all of that? My mother. Yeah. She, uh, she was an author already. She taught me some like my my mother and father guided me along the journey. Well, I am so jealous because you ran at the National Stadium at four years old. <laughs> yes, well, me is four hundred years old. I mean, never <laughs> run there yet. Do not laugh, gentlemen. But I mean, never run there yet. So that was what in in, in prep primary school. What? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Yes, you, sir. You won the race. Was I really? Yes, I did. Are you teaming? Yeah, they did. So you like track and field? I love track and field. You're thinking that maybe you're going to be a star. Yes, sir, like Shelly and Fraser Price. That's what you want to do? I do. But also, you say you want to be a chef. <laughs> I, have many, I have many careers. I want to be a lot of things when I grow up. Like what? Tell me something else. Veterinarian, chef, athlete, an author, which I already am, an evangelist. And you're going to do all of them, you know? <laughs> Prime Minister? No, sir. No, you don't. <laughs> you prepare.